Welcome to Felt the Food. I'm Phoebe, the maker of the original DIY kit that allows you to begin making felt food today. Join me in the craft kitchen for today's make. Today in the craft kitchen, we are making a delicious pancake breakfast to include whole juicy strawberries. In your kit, you will find nine strawberry patterns and three strawberry tops. You'll also find your coordinating thread. Using the gold thread, remove and cut roughly half of the thread. Carefully divide the thread so that you only have three strands. Here's a pro tip. Go slowly and carefully untwist as you divide. Thread your needle by gently inserting the thread through the eye of the needle and pulling your thread through about halfway. In one hand, you will have your needle, and in the other, you will have the longest end of your thread. Using your needle, take the strands and divide so that you have only one thread. Holding firmly, wrap all of your thread around three times. Hold on to the knot and pull it all the way until you get back to the end. When you release, you will have what's known as a quilter's knot. Take one strawberry pattern and begin inserting a few upward stitches to create the strawberry detail. Don't worry, we aren't looking for perfection. Add as many or as little as your heart desires. Repeat this stitch on all strawberry patterns. If you get confused, put your needle down and watch as I do it. To secure the thread on the back of your strawberry, you will want to use your needle to pick up a small amount of felt. In one hand, hold the loop and insert your needle, wrapping the thread around three times. Pull the thread through and you will notice you have made a secure knot. Re-thread your needle with the red thread. As a reminder, you will want to separate this so that you are only using three strands. Please don't forget to make your quilters knot at the end of your thread. We will now begin to attach the strawberry patterns with a blanket stitch. To begin your blanket stitch, you will insert your needle through the strawberry pattern. Now combine your strawberry pattern and go back through your entry point. Before securing, go back through the loop. This is the start of your blanket stitch. Your next stitch will go through both pieces again, and before securing, you will go back through the loop. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do this. When you get to the top of your strawberry pattern, you will want to secure the thread by picking up a small amount of felt. In one hand, hold the loop and insert your needle, wrapping the thread around three times. Pull the thread through and you will notice you have made a small secure knot. Repeat this blanket stitch and securing each pattern until you've completed the base of your strawberry pattern.
Now it's time to close your strawberry pattern. Take your needle and thread and begin sewing along the top edge. Put your needle down and watch as I do this. Once you have gone around the entire edge, gently pull your strawberry together so that it can begin to close. Now you'll want to stitch across to secure the closure. Finish off by adding a knot by picking up a small amount of thread. In one hand, hold the loop and insert your needle, wrapping the thread around three times. Pull the thread through and you will notice you have made a secure knot. Now let's add your strawberry top. Rethread your needle with the green thread. As a reminder, you will want to separate this so that you are only using three strands. Please don't forget to make your quilters knot at the end of your thread. Place the green top on top of your strawberry and take your needle underneath of the strawberry, picking up the red felt and going through the center of the green top. I know that this can get a little confusing, so please take a look at what I'm doing. Now that you have your thread through the center of your strawberry top, you're going to take your needle and go underneath again, but stay on top and just pick up a little bit of that red strawberry felt and go right underneath and through the green. Again, take a look at what I'm doing just so that you know I'm securing the top of my strawberry top to my strawberry. Every time I'm going in, I'm picking up a little bit of that red felt underneath and I'm looping it back through. Take your time. I definitely wanna make sure that the strawberry top stays on. Once you've gone all around your strawberry and the top is secure, you're going to finish off by securing that last stitch to the red part of your strawberry. Pick up a little bit of that felt, create the loop, hold it in one hand, wrap around three times, hold that knot nice and close to the strawberry, and voila, you have done it. This pancake breakfast is complete. Strawberries, chunky bananas, and fluffy pancakes. Congratulations. I hope your little ones love it just as much as we do.